Hello everybody, this is Annette and I'm here for another baby layout that I did titled Two Months. <clears throat> and this time I remembered last video I forgot to get which paper stack I got my paper from, but this time I remembered so I had all that. The background paper I used for my main page came from this one, Recollections all seasons and the style is actually down here Oops, regulations all seasons paper pad and then this one I this is the paper that I use this is the scraps from cutting down the Chippendale layout I did um, to eight and a half by eleven this is the scraps and it and that came from um, this is what come with the paper and so it just says Kane Company it doesn't give any kind of paper sack so it must be an old one or something because they really don't come I don't think this one was glued together I don't know all the papers are individual so I'm not sure I just know it came from that one okay and I'm going to give you sizes of everything and my Pepsi. All right, my mats are three and three quarters by five and a quarter. My giraffe is, and around my mats, let's go ahead and mention so I don't forget, I did some doodling all the way around. That's both mats. My giraffe come from Create a Critter. This come from Create a Critter. And this came from uh, All Mixed Up. Or not, not All Mixed sorry. Gypsy Wanderings. And my title, which you can't really see too well, come from um, All Mixed Up. Okay. So my giraffe is five inches in height. See, when I designed this on my jersey, I tried to do it so if you wanted to do a page exactly like this, you if you don't have a gypsy or have Cricut Craft Room abilities, you can just set your gypsy. So I try to do that. Not always is it possible, but I try. So the giraffe is five inches, so that's what you'd set your Cricut at. And he's two and three quarter, two point three four in width. My gypsy wanderings is, excuse me, is that's one side. That can be right. It said one inch for a minute there. Is three in height and three and a half in width and then what I did and I didn't save it so I'm not 100% sure what the size of this one in the middle is but I copied it and put it in the middle of the first one to size it to make it so it fits just inside so I'm not sure let me try my ruler are you gonna see my cat's tail in a minute so it's about the one inside is about three and a half. Maybe I did a bigger one. I did the outside one that way. Yeah, it had to be the outside one I did that way. So the one in the middle, the pattern paper, that one is three and a half by three. And the one on the outside is four by three and three quarters. Yeah, so the one on the outside is four by three and three quarters. I apologize about the cat's tail like kicked her out of here numerous times. All right, and oh, my title. Forgot about my title. My title is again from All Mixed Up, and it is one inch in height and 0.83 in width. And I'm gonna zoom in so we can see. Oops. Here we go. Here's the title and I stitched 
just going right in the middle of all the letters and there's the stitching around my front about my photo mats I can make any dizzy and this is the cuddle bug scene spots scene spots folder right here scene spots and that is all I did for this layout Let me zoom out so you can see it and so I thank you for watching any questions just leave me a comment or any comments about my layout leave me a comment and I thank you for watching <laughs>